Did you know that the primary cause of death associated with shark attacks is actually blood loss? A shark's hatred for boats and all other creations of man is unmistakable. Lacking natural intestinal support out of water, the shark's internal organs struggle to function. It must be emphasized that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark needs a good whack on their nose. Go get him, Chad.
The shark stuns her opponent with a flick of the tail. Dinner coming, boys. Let's get her up on deck, huh? On board the Cajun crew, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. Yeah, this my daddy's on, all right. This ain't the shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. Oh, oh look at here. She's on for me. Hello! <laughs> Are you mama in there? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You maybe want to turn off that gamma. A famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game.
mother catfish will eat her own young. So this shark quite possibly saved the lives of an estimated thousands of baby catfish. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey. Return to her native ocean home.
Made vulnerable by serious injuries, the shark must exercise caution as she renews her attack. I suppose it's marginally better than being killed by a boat propeller. The Cajuns that fish and trap here don't use depth finders or GPSs. They know this bayou by heart. is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here.
shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. Life can be nasty, brutish, and short in the pitiless gulf. The locals here know every nook and cranny of the swamp. Despite the catfish's highly developed auditory system, lab tests revealed they still prefer CDs over vinyl. According to the county administrator, Chuck Hucklebridge, the lack of effectiveness of piecemeal technocratic solutions here can only be solved with more piecemeal technocratic solutions.
it makes you feel better, I ate the heck out of some crockpot alligator killed bossa bites earlier. Vegetation salinity zones in this area include fresh marsh, intermediate marsh, brackish marsh, and saline marsh. The resilient bull shark is able to navigate all of them with ease. Bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet.
I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home, and let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris. Every shark, no matter how small or docile, is anatomically a potential source of danger.
this strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. animals all live together in fascinating interdependent relationships. <laughs> 